Hello everyone, uh, this is Suyesh here. Okay, so now in this video we'll be discussing actually the differences between our GSM and Helium. Okay, and we, I have made the video on the basic anatomy of that is the common features for this GSM and Helium and the basic anatomy of our small intestine proper that is, that includes our GSM and Helium. So I will attach that uh, that video in the i button. Okay, watch that video first and then come to the differences, specific differences between the GSM and Helium. Okay, so now let's begin with the differences actually. So uh, what is the need of differences? So actually this differences actually helps the surgeon. Uh, when the surgeons uh, do the surgery, it helps the surgeon to recognize this uh, the which part is helium and which part is jejunum. Okay, so that is the main purpose for the surgeons to identify which is jejunum and helium. And for the basic anatomy, we should know the differences, basic differences between jejunum and helium. So let's begin. So you can see these two diagrams actually. There is one is cross section and one is the uh, basic arterial supply. Okay, and lumens are there and walls are there. So, okay, so, so this part is actually your jejunum. So this one is actually your jejunum. And this one is your helium. Okay. So now let's begin with the first difference with the walls. Okay. So walls in the case of walls in the case of jejunum, we have actually thick walls. Okay. The walls are thicker in the case of jejunum. So we so this jejunum is having a thick wall. Okay. And it is more vascular. So it is more supplied by the vascular beds. Okay. Thick wall and more vascular beds. Okay. Now, in, when we come to the case of helium, it, the lumens are thin. Okay, you can see. Uh, no, wall is thin, actually. Okay, so thin wall it is having. Okay, so it is formed of thin wall and it has less vascular. Vascular. Okay, so vascular beds are less as compared to jejunum. Okay, now when we come to the lumen, actually, lumen. So, in the case of jejunum, we have wider lumen. Okay, so you can see this lumens are actually wider in the case of jejunum. And in the case of helium, we have narrow as compared to jejunum, uh, we have uh, narrow. Okay, and their diameter is around 3.5 cm in the case of helium and 4 cm in the case of jejunum. Okay, so this was the second difference in the case of lumens. Okay, now comes the circular folds as we have, we have uh, seen in the video for jejunum and helium, the basic anatomy. That circular folds are the, actually the uh, part of our mucous membrane, okay, the first layer. So, this circular folds are present all over the small intestine, you know, then jejunum, helium, and jejunum everywhere. So, in the case of circular folds, what happens is that so they are longer in the case of jejunum and smaller in the case of helium, okay. So, in this diagram, you can see so, and one more difference between the circular folds in jejunum and helium is that you can see this black ones are actually your circular folds, okay, and here again, same. These are actually circular folds. So this is a diagram for your helium actually. This is your helium and this one is your jejunum. Okay. I have made side by side. Okay. So it will be easier for your comparison. Okay. So what, what I am going to tell is that, that the, the space between these two circular folds is closely. Okay. So less space is present between the two circular folds. So it is closely set in the case of jejunum. But in the case of helium, there is sparsely, sparsely means there is more space. So they are actually sparsely set. Sparsely means they have more space between the two circular folds. You can see two black lines. These are actually circular folds and this is mucous membrane. Okay. So they are the part of our mucous membrane and it actually increases the surface area. Okay. For the absorption of nutrients. This much is clear. So that this was the third difference. First, second, third. Now comes the fourth difference in the case of villi. So what happens in the case of villi is that so villi are more in number of jejunum. So when we compare the numbers of intestinal villi for the absorption of nutrients, so so you know that this villi actually increases the surface area on the mucous membrane for the absorption of nutrients. So for that case, the villi, the number of villi in the case of jejunum are more, with compared to helium. So in helium, is it less? And it is larger in size. That is the the, the 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 elevation in the case of this villi elevation on the mucous membrane will be of larger size, thicker. And leaf like shape will be there in the case of jejunum. So I have written it here. But in the case of your helium, they are less in number, they are shorter, the size or elevation is that is, they are flattened in the case of they will be flat, not elevated as much, so, so they are sh shorter and they will be thinner in, uh, in the case of the membrane and they will be of finger like shape. In the case, it's leaf like, in this case, it, it is finger like. So that was the four, four, four difference. Okay, now comes our lymphatic apparatus or you can say lymph follicles. So there is a major difference between the lymph follicles. You know that about you have learned about the PS patches. So in the case of jejunum, we does not have PS patches as much as compared to helium. So this PS patches is actually the specific feature for our PS patches is specific feature for 
I am writing it here. PS patches. So PS patches is actually the specific feature of our helium. So this point is important. So you can see this. This is actually your PS patches. PS patches. So this is actually the lymphatic follicles, aggregated lymphatic follicles. So PS patches are nothing. They are just the aggregation of solitary lympho uh, lymphatic follicles around 2 to uh, 250 to 260. So they aggregate at one place in the case of helium. So you can see this aggregation here and that is called as PS patches and that is mostly present in the helium. And if we go specifically in helium, it is present in the distal part of the helium. So I mentioned it here in the distal part. Okay, and it is oval in shape. These follicles are oval in shape in the case of helium, but in the case of genum, they are circular, they are small in number. And if you go specifically in the genum, where you can see only you can see in the distal part and in very less amount. Okay, the space patches. So, in the case of genum, you can see solitary lymphatic follicles. So, you can see this blue ones small so there will be actually the solitary lymphatic follicles will be present all over the intestines so but in the case of genum you can see specifically this this thing so these are called as solitary lymphatic follicles so nothing uh, pear patches nothing pear patches are just the aggregation of the solitary lymphatic follicles around 2 to uh, 250 and 260 that is called as pear patches and a specific feature for helium so this is the most important point in the case of differences now comes the mesentery mesentery by the mesentery it is clear Mesentery is just nothing. Mesentery, you know that it is a part of peritoneum. So in the <coughs> mesentery, what you can see in this diagram is that in the case of helium, there will be peritoneal fats on this uh, on this uh, arterial arcades, or you can say this is vasa recta actually the vascular bed. So this this is actually the peritoneal bed, peritoneal window you can say, not bed. It is peritoneal window. So in the case of helium, there is more fat. So if there is more fat between the spaces between the arteries, so you can't see anything inside this, actually inside the uh, the small intestine, actually is now ileum. Okay, so what happens is that uh, these are peritoneal uh, windows are become opaque. So you can't see anything inside or outside that is uh, towards the posterior abdominal wall. So there is much layer of fat here. That is why it is opaque. But in the case of this genum, the peritoneal window is translucent you can say or semi-translucent you can see means there is visible the posterior abdominal wall is visible everything is visible because less fat is there so peritoneal window here it is semi-translucent translucent you know that it is visible from it is visible actually and it has less fat as compared to helium okay in the case of genome so there's the main difference for the mesentery this was seventh difference and now comes the main again the important difference that is called as arterial arches or arterial arcades so in the case of this arterial arcades what happens is that you can see this arcades these are actually the inter arterial anastomosis around the small intestine okay small intestine specifically if you go genum and ileum so these are actually the inter arterial anastomosis so it is a very long loop inside the uh, abdomen okay so they have arcades actually so the difference is that there will be one to two rows you can see this is first row and this one is second row so this this is actually one to two rows two rows of arcades arterial arcades so this is actually just like an inter arterial mesenteric anastomosis and it is also called as Rayolon's arcades. I will attach the video of blood supply of intestine. I have made the video on that. I will attach that an I button. Watch that video. So the blood supply of this, I have told the difference there also. What is the difference between ileum and genome? The arcades. Okay. So this is also the difference for that. So one or two roads you can see arterial arches in the case of genome. What happens in this case is here what happens in the ileum? You can see one, two, three, four, and sometimes five also. So you can see around four to five rows of arterial arcades okay so because of more rows so vasa recta the uh, the artery which is supplying the intestine is called as vasa recta so this because of more number of rows this vasa recta will be here short okay so short vasa recta this is another difference if we say with respect to arterial arches so vasa recta will be short here here uh, here there is less row one to two rows so this this vasa recta will be here long long vasa recta Okay, here there will be long vasa recta. Okay, so uh, with case of arterial arches, what is the difference? One, two rows in genome, four to five rows in arteries uh, in ileum. Uh, vasa recta is long because rows are less. 
and four to five rows are more so vasa recta is short in the case of helium okay so this was the seven difference and this, these are the basic important difference and these arcades are actually called as rayolons arcades if you go to the specific kit okay these are just inter arterial mesenteric anastomosis i made the video no intestine watch that video okay it will be clear the blood supply of small intestine okay so this was the video for the differences between genome and helium so do like share and subscribe the channel thank you